Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming cognizant exam. Today, I am going to share one important question regarding HTML CSS JavaScript which is very important because these type of questions are being asked in these days. So I hope you will watch till the end and grab the questions answer as well. Okay, so what you will do, I will show you the questions then you have to do the solution by yourself if not possible then watch till the end okay otherwise this will not be helpful just assume this is your exam hall okay so let me share the experience of today's exam that is the SQL questions are very easy it is solvable I mean you can just close your eyes and solve the problem this much of easy okay and the uh, like Java Python and C -sharp questions are first question is easy and second question is moderate okay and for html CSS javascript the question is very very much easy i will not say that this is medium because you just have to do one functionality like uh, let's say change the background or select an image in a uh, drop down or let's say uh, like changing like uh, event listener type of task okay so let me share the question so that it will be easier to understand just one thing if you want the prime materials of cognizant or any company that you want then please damn me at paste id instagram.com slash techno.ef or you can just pay 69 rupees using the upi id given in the description box and send me the screenshot at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.ef i will share the materials okay okay so let me share you the question so the question is this okay so I have not got the full question but the question gist is this you have to create a drop down box okay and you will have to create a button uh, with the labels so image okay and when you will select when user will select one uh, one fruit okay then if you click on the so image that particular image should be shown okay so I am sharing uh, the sample output so that it will be easier to understand okay so basically you have to create a front end the question name is front end simulator and like uh, fruit selector okay the question name is fruit selector the uh, sample input will be look like this and when user will select on this this drop down should be shown steady apple and banana when user will select any of them and click on show image that particular image should be shown okay this way so i hope you understood what the task is so if you understood then please start solving the problem by yourself if not possible then only come to watch okay and as i have told you earlier that the solution will be checked by the system so just uh, observe the objective and try to fulfill that only okay nothing else let's say you have to create a drop down box this is one objective okay if you have initiated the select tag if you have initiated the option tag then you will get one mark okay and let's say you are told you are uh, like, let's say you are tasked with uh, creating an button called so image and you have created a button tag okay button tag in your html page so then you will get one mark extra again because the system will check if your code is having one button tag or not if your code is having one select one option tag or not so this way it will check okay so i hope you guys understood so let me share you the solution okay guys if you have not subscribed yet then please subscribe because this will motivate me to make more content okay as i have been watching that you guys are subscribing so thank you very much but still if you have not subscribed then please subscribe okay so let me share you the solution so at first uh, let me show you the html page so uh, in exam you will be given code up to this okay from doc type to body you will be given the code and the last ending tag will be also given to you like the script tag and ending body and html tag okay just you have to write uh, up to this from this uh, this div to ending div okay so at first we have created one container inside the container so what is the like uh, space for this container let me share it uh, as you can see this is the container okay so uh, yeah so as you can see the highlighted space is for the highlighted space is for this container okay so at first we have created one container okay 
then inside that we have created one drop down so i hope you guys having a basic understanding of html so still if you have not uh, knowledge about this so let me tell you that in using select tag okay using select tag and the option tag we create drop down okay drop down so you have to create one select as the parent tag inside that one child tag that is option so inside option you will see you will see these options as you can see at first select a fruit this is the option one and option two is cherry option two apple option three is banana so as you can see uh yeah select a fruit this is also an option select uh, cherry apple banana these all are options okay so these are the child tag okay so using this select and option tag we have created a uh, drop down okay and given the value cherry apple and banana and you, you you can ignore this but still this will help this will be helpful to select the image okay just give it you can give like 0 1 2 3 uh, this way as well and also you can give one simple character and also string okay anything will be okay so let me say uh, so the button so then the next objective was to create a button okay to create a button with the label so image so the next task is done just we have included one what one event listener that is on click when this button with the so image label will be clicked then this function will be triggered which is inside the javascript okay so this is the function which we have created inside javascript okay so let me just wait i'll show you okay so image is a function which we have implemented inside the javascript okay then we have created one blank div tag where we will show the image okay so let, as you can see inside this div tag nothing is there nothing is there image container okay id is image container and inside the div tag nothing is shown because we don't know what user will select okay so inside this will select uh one image so let me share it as you can see if i reload it so at first there is nothing okay at first there is nothing like uh, as you can see here uh inside image container there is nothing written but as soon as we will select on it as soon as we will select on it as you can see one image is imposed like with image tag okay img image tag with these attributes okay these are imposed inside the div tag so how it did happen it happened from the javascript so let me share it so that it will be easier to understand okay so then let me share so as of now what uh, we have done that is html part has been done okay so the first task was create the drop down okay second task was create the button with show image and the third task was this show image function okay so we have created this but still not implemented so let me share the okay so before i show the javascript tag let me explain it so as you can see here we have in uh, linked the style dot css i mean the css page whatever you will give the name of that page you just have to link that okay and at the end you have to uh, include the script i mean javascript page as well as you can see a script 3.js is the name of our javascript file so we have to include that this way okay so let me share the css page so here uh, nothing specified but still uh you have to do something like uh, do something with the container do something with the body give the font name or uh, like give the uh, color of the select tag or anything you can okay uh, like the border tag border radius you can do anything with those actually i have not got the specification so that's why i have given randomly okay so if you are tasked to give a background color to the button then give it okay so i hope you will understood understand okay so let me share this javascript page so this is the function which we have uh we have included inside the on click event listener okay on click event listener here 
here okay so when this button will be clicked this function will be triggered so this function means this okay so inside javascript we have created this function so what is inside this function that is at first we have initialized the variable fruit inside fruit we have document uh, we have nothing but we are getting the value from the html page okay so we are getting the control of this fruit select okay fruit fruit select so here as you can see from this select tag we had one id that is fruit select okay so from this fruit select we are actually as, as of now we are getting the control of that drop down okay then dot value when user will input something input something then the value will be stored inside this variable fruit okay so let's say user selected user selected one fruit okay cherry then the value will be equal to cherry the value will be equal to cherry so fruit is equal to cherry as of now let's say okay fruit is equal to cherry then we are getting the control of the image container control of the image container this okay which is having nothing inside that inside it okay so inside div tag nothing is there so we are getting the control of this okay this this div image container okay so image container is equal to we are getting the control only okay just getting the control only nothing else document dot get element by id and the id was image container so we are we got the control okay then what we are doing image container dot inner html is equal to blank okay that means we are making the image container blank let's say i have selected something okay i have selected something and clicked on the button okay so inside image container there is already one cherry a uh, one image tag okay so this is something uh, something inside the div tag okay something inside the div tag but when we'll click on the button so image again then on click function will be triggered again so on click function will be triggered again that means we have to clear the previous image we have to clear the previous image so that's why we are writing dot inner html that means we are modifying is equal to blank so that nothing will be there inside the image container okay then we are at here we got the control uh, here we got the fruit name okay so we are checking if fruit name that means if it is true if, if it is having any value if it is having any value then we are initializing another variable img okay img what is this it is to create a new element image as you can see there was nothing inside this div tag nothing was inside this div tag but as soon as we click on the show image there is one image tag created image tag created okay so we are creating this image tag inside the javascript okay document dot create element dot sorry img so this is the tag name okay whatever uh, tag you want to create you can create this way okay then i am writing that image dot source this is the attribute name okay src alt alternate okay so these are the attribute name as you can see the, this src alt all will be inside the tag okay so image dot src is equal to uh this way you have to initialize the name of the fruit actually inside uh, your task inside your uh, like a uh, problem you will be given two or three links of those fruit image okay you will be given link of the, those fruit image you have to link that okay but as i have not got those links that's why i am dynamically assigning the, those name okay so i have got the fruit name from here like let's say at first cherry okay so dollar inside the curly braces i have got the fruit name cherry okay and then uh, extension is dot jpg jpg so that's why i have kept given that okay dot jpg then if let's say for internet connection for any problem the image is not shown i have to show alternatively something that is i have write written image dot alternate or alt is equal to fruit so this fruit means uh, whatever inside this stored that will be shown okay then image container this image container dot append child append child this image tag this image tag that means 
inside this image container this is the parent tag and i am appending one tag inside this that is image img so append child image okay so i hope you understood guys okay so let me share it uh let me share it from the beginning so when user will click on it let's say jd and click on show image then this image will be shown when user will click on apple as you can see here as you can see here this cherry.jpg is imposed okay so when i'll click on show image this will be updated okay apple.jpg and when banana will be selected show image and this banana.jpg will be selected uh, i mean imposed inside the image container tag okay so i hope you guys understood what the task was so if you understood then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding cognizant or any company that you want we have a like playlist of essentar tcs cognizant tech mahindra deloitte capgemini and many on so if you want then please go through those and if you want the prime materials of essentar tcs cognizant capgemini and deloitte tech mahindra uh, delta x joho etc etc so if you want then please damn me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.ef or you can just pay through the upi id given in the description box and send the screenshot of those inside our insta instagram account okay so i hope guys this much of uh, this much uh, of discussion is enough for today's session so if you guys li like this then please share this content with your friend okay so thank you for today's session